Welcome to the first episode of My Hard Drive Died with Scott Moulton, who is a forensic expert and owns a company, you might have guessed, MyHardDriveDied.com. Scott, give us a rundown real quick of what your company is, MyHardDriveDied.com. Uh, my Hard Drive Died is a data recovery company. It's a spinoff from my forensics company. Uh, I started my forensics company about nine years ago, and uh, about eight years ago, I spun off just the data recovery portion of it because I was getting in a lot of hard drives that weren't forensics and needed to be done at a cheaper level or a more affordable level that didn't need the same paperwork and everything that forensics needs. So my hard drive died is is focused strictly on data recovery and getting that content back out to you. Great. So that's what we're going to be covering in this podcast. We're going to be talking about hard drives uh, types of drives, manufacture of drives, um, the whole area, you know, the whole field of forensics, what it involves, um, how hard drives break, how you get the data off of them. I mean, there's so much to cover in this field that um, is not broadly known that I think this will be really informative and I hope everybody likes it. Um, th this first episode is going to be about RAID. Many of you probably heard about RAID and don't know what it is. Some of you do know about RAID and have used it. Some of you have heard about it and might think you know what it is, but may not know everything. So we're going to cover that topic um, as best we can and get going with that. So Scott, what does RAID stand for, first of all? RAID is a redundant array of, it was supposed to be inexpensive disks, but uh, it kind of gets mutilated a few times. Uh, some people call it, you know, the boss would go, what is what is inexpensive about this? But uh, <laughs> so So it has kind of gone in a different direction of independent disks, and it it basically is an individual set of disks that's bound together. So redundant array of inexpensive disks is the traditional terminology. Okay, why is it, what's the advantage of bundling them together like that? Well, the advantage is, is that when you have multiple drives and you spread the data across the drives, the, the easiest way that I can describe, and there's many levels of RAID, so we'll cover some of the levels of RAID, but uh, in the data recovery world, there's only about three or four primary ones that we'll see, okay. uh, just because those are what are commercially available. But uh, from a standpoint of bundling the drives together, most of the time the point would be if you have redundant data on multiple disks, then if one disk dies, you still have your data, that you haven't lost anything. Okay. That's like the most popular usage of it, I guess? That is typically what most people understand it to mean, uh, which becomes kind of part of the problem because you have RAID 0, and RAID 0 technically shouldn't be called redundant array. It should be called AIDS. They should just drop the redundant, and uh, if you have you know, an array of independent disks, it just sucks. So that's it should be just called AIDS. <laughs> Why? Why does there it is suck? A, it is a, it is multiple disks. Right. However, the data is spanned over the disks, and there is no redundancy. So there is you can you can kind of think of it if you had two pies and you took one piece of pie from each from each pie and you put them in a row. The data is spread across all of them, and if any one of the pies is gone, you lose all of your data. There is wow. no data that could be saved. Uh, because the amount of the slices is so small that nothing will be visible or usable. Uh, you probably hate that as a data recovery specialist. It's pretty bad because you only – whatever that drive is that failed, you have to repair that drive. There is no other option. If you can't repair that drive, you have lost all of your data. So I've had situations where, like a few weeks ago, I had a photographer who had gone to England – he had spent over $100,000 on models and going to specific places with these models, uh, like female models, right. and taking specific pictures of the you know castles and things like that with these models. And it had cost him over $100,000, and he had all of his data stored on one of these Lassie drives that had uh, two drives in it, but it was called – it was a RAID 0. So mm -hmm. the data was spanned over both of these drives. And something happened, and you know he whacked it, or he hit one of the sides of the disc, or something, and it uh, it actually scratched the platters, dug the head, dug into the platters, and basically having nothing but platter dust inside the drive. And so, no matter what you do with you know files, photography is you know typically in raw format is going to be fairly large files, and uh, they they span over the disc, so there's nothing that you can recover. And literally, once you get inside the disk and you look at it and you have this platter dust, the guy basically, you know, broke down crying. He, he could he could barely stand. So it, it really is a, a horrible thing. He thought he had raid. So he thought that his data was redundant. So he couldn't. Nothing was recovered for him. 
N- nothing. Uh, basically, the one drive that survives, yeah. it'll look like slices. Like you'll have like oh, a head, man. and then you'll have feet, and there will be no body. So oh, you'll man. have chunks missing. I would have cried too, I think, on that. Yeah, uh, he's actually going to have to spend all the money again and redo his entire – all the shots and everything he did for the client. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. So RAID Zero – So the, well, I guess the only advantage of RAID Zero is you're taking – Smaller hard drives and making it into one big one, is that the goal, I guess? Well, that's the most obvious, but the real reason that people would use RAID 0 in most cases is for speed. Uh, Originally, when you were doing a lot of like video editing and things like that, you have some latency in the drives. So what you do is you span your data over two drives or more drives because you you actually – most people think that RAID is just the two drives. Um, I've actually had a RAID in that had six drives in RAID RAID 0, so uh, it actually can – be done over multiple drives. Uh, I know that I've seen some with 14 drives. So, wow. but the more you have, the more likely your your data is to be more damaged sure. because it's going to be spread across all of those. Well, the more drives so, you have in RAID Zero, is it the faster it makes it, or no? Yes. Uh, okay. Basically, when you send data to those drives, they are all all of the drives can then write because your write sequences. Even if you have multiple heads on a single drive, you're only writing with one head at a time. Okay. You're not writing with the multiple heads, even though there's a stack of heads. Okay. So when you are writing with multiple disks, all of those disks can write data simultaneously. So you then are basically running in parallel. So it is faster, and you will get more performance from it. Uh, and it's great for video editing and things where you have a lot of frames. But then the problem becomes if you don't back it up or you don't move it off of that array after you're done building what you're supposed to do, you you have nothing that you can save. I got you. Uh, and you know gamers gamers love RAID Zero because it makes their games run fast. Um, so you'll have some laptops, Alienwares and stuff that'll have you know two drives in them. Um, but you know you'll still see it in motherboards that actually support RAID Zero. People will still have drives that will be bound together. I so. See. Yeah, I was going to ask you, if you had to recommend RAID Zero, who would it be geared towards? I think you just said it, gamers and people doing video editing. Yes, that would be it. But obviously the point, you know, with gamers, they don't really care so much if they lose their data. Right, uh, right. I don't I don't get them in saying, hey, get back my, <laughs> you know, World of Warcraft. <laughs> uh, I get back drives that are like, you know, here's all my, here's all my photography and all the stuff I've edited and all my graphics. But um those are the people that really matter and those are the people who typically seem to understand less about what they've purchased <laughs> that's amazing all right so that's raid 0 what's next um do they go just go straight up the numbers or do they skip around um they do go straight up in numbers uh primarily the issue becomes there are there are some sets of numbers that became obsolete right away or became uh useless right away that aren't used so primarily in the data recovery world what you would get is RAID 0, which is the stripes. You'll get a RAID 1, 